Hello and welcome to another chat on Hot Button. Now, this week we're going to be talking about sociability, namely the difference between extroverted people and introverted people. Now, it's an interesting subject because it's a classification that divides two groups of people. And in fact, you may have even done a survey on the internet about it. So, Sherry, are you an extrovert or are you an introvert? I am so predominantly an extrovert. Really? I enjoy mingling, being around people, socializing, depending on who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm definitely on the extroverted side as well. And we probably should take a second to explain to the viewers um, what the differences between them are. Uh, the concept was first popularized by a Swiss psychiatrist uh, called Carl Jung uh, around the turn of the 20th century. And he said that an extrovert, like you and I, uh, is someone who gets their energy from others. They're that life of the party, the person who loves to interact with people all the time. Well, I don't like to be around people all the time, <laughs> but um, extroverted personalities, they're definitely not afraid to speak up half the time. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, introverts, they like to spend more time alone. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's kind of where they get their energy. It's true. Um, you know, I know many introverts who get exhausted from spending too much time with other people. And, and it's really interesting because it's kind of the opposite of how I feel. And, you know, if I spent too much time alone, I'd, I'd get really depressed. Um, and that is a really fascinating thing because that divide can actually create some issues. You know, um, I think a, the best example would be, you know, an extrovert like me wants to hang out with an introvert, so we keep calling them and texting them. And that introvert, they just want to have some alone time because, you know, maybe they had too many family <laughs> gatherings or something to deal with. And so they're getting annoyed at the extrovert for constantly pestering them. And the extrovert's getting annoyed because, you know, the introvert doesn't want to hang out. And so there's this kind of tension between the two, and, and that, can, that can cause some problems. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> I know what you mean. And the extrovert can get irritated, let's say, if the introvert doesn't know how to express themselves mm. or communicate clearly. Interesting, though, that you would get depressed if you spend too much time alone. I'm actually the opposite. Oh, really? I actually, even though I'm predominantly an extrovert, I actually like to spend some time alone, too. Um, so I'm actually what they refer to as an ambivert. And from what I've learned about ambiverts is that ambiverts, they can moderately be sociable and have their alone time. An ambivert? Yeah. It's interesting you mentioned that. And I'm actually kind of glad you brought that up because it, it does bring up a really important point. Because, you know, it's, it is easy to really think of people, you know, people as either this or that, introvert or extrovert. But I, I kind of believe it is more like a spectrum. You know, people are on different you know, places. I think many people are, in fact, ambiverts. You know, they have, they're, you know, on one side, but they have tendencies from the other. And, you know, it's really interesting. I, I read recently, um, you know, the popular belief is that extroverts are really good at sales because they love mm -hmm. just interacting with people all the time. But uh, a study has shown that it is, in fact, ambiverts who are best at sales because they can kind of balance, you know, the extremes of working in sales. Actually, yeah, that makes sense because in my hometown, when I used to sell Avon years ago, um, people used to say that I actually did quite well in really? Avon sales my first year. There you go. I mean, it came naturally for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and I'm actually relieved that the discussion has, has started to kind of shift towards ambiversion because, you know, I really don't believe that it's one or the other. Uh, you know, it's really a spectrum where people sit on different places. And I think also a, a really good thing to remember is that it's important to kind of understand and accommodate, um, you know, the differences between people. You know, if, if you're an extrovert, you know, it's important to understand how an introvert works and, and realize that if they don't want to hang out, it's because they actually do need that alone time. It's really important for them and it has nothing to do with, with you or me or, you know, or anything like that. Yeah, it's important to understand that the human personality and the human psyche, it's far more complicated than these tests and that we're able to adapt to different situations. Mm. So what about you? Are you introverted, extroverted, or ambiverted? Feel free to contact us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next episode of Hot Button.